Welcome to our research project on secondary surgical resectability of initially unresectable liver metastases from colorectal cancer following induction treatment with chemotherapy in combination with yttrium-90 resin microsphere radioembolization compared to chemotherapy only, the RESECT study. We appreciate your support very much. Although the general idea of the study has been discussed with you earlier and the project plan has been emailed to you together with the invitation to participate, we would like to highlight some essential issues of the study background as well as some technical details that will be relevant during the image review process in this short video. As you know, Although the combination of chemotherapy and radioembolization has been shown to induce a roughly 10% higher objective response rate in the liver compared to chemotherapy only in patients with liver metastases from colorectal cancer in the randomized SURFLOC study, the rate of patients undergoing a resection of their metastases was not different between treatment arms in this trial. It is likely that in addition to the treatment effect, Many different factors, including individual surgeon preference, patient comorbidity, presence of extra hepatic disease, and other factors may have contributed to the decision to recommend or discourage surgery for a particular patient. Hence, it is impossible to draw a conclusion from the presently available SURFLOX data on whether chemotherapy only or the combination with radioembolization is more likely to render liver metastases resectable. The RESECT project is aiming to generate the first quasi-objective data on the impact of chemotherapy plus radioembolization versus chemotherapy only on secondary resectability of colorectal liver metastases. To this end, baseline and best response CT scans from all patients in the SURFLOX trial will be reviewed by multiple experts in hepatic surgery. Assessment of resectability within the RESECT project shall be based on purely technical issues, explicitly not taking into account patient-related factors such as comorbidity, presence of extrahepatic disease, or treatment history. Therefore, as a surgical expert reviewer in this project, you shall be blinded regarding clinical patient information and the voting results of your fellow experts, particularly you will not be given information on whether you are assessing a baseline scan or a post-treatment scan at any given time. For each scan, you will first be asked whether you estimate that all visible liver lesions can be surgically removed. Please base your judgment on technical resectability only. If anything outside of the liver is visible that may preclude surgery in your opinion, such as extrahepatic tumor, evidence of portal hypertension, or ascites, the answer to this question should still be yes if all liver lesions are technically resectable. If you estimated all lesions to be technically resectable, you will then be asked to suggest an appropriate surgical procedure for the case. Please choose the option that best describes your suggested procedure from the pull-down menu under question 2. You should also decide whether your suggested procedure should be accompanied by one or more additional non-anatomical resections for complete tumor removal and answer question 3 accordingly. For each case that you deem non-resectable, you will be asked to state the principal reason for non-resectability in question 4. Please choose the option that best describes the situation from the pull-down menu. In case the principal cause for non-resectability is an insufficient size of the future liver remnant, or FLR, you will be asked whether you estimate that resectability might be achieved by using a method of preoperative induction of parenchymal liver hypertrophy, such as portal vein embolization, portal vein ligation, as part of classical two-stage hepatectomy, the ALPS procedure, or unilateral radioembolization. Please answer questions 5 and 6 accordingly. Additionally, 
for cases that you deemed non-resectable, you will be asked your opinion whether complete tumor clearance may be achieved using local ablation by thermal methods, such as radiofrequency or microwave ablation of up to five lesions in addition to surgery. If your answer is yes to question 7, you will then be asked to indicate the number of lesions that should be treated by local ablation and then to mark these lesions on the CT scan. The marked lesions will later be assessed by an interventional radiologist to verify if they are suitable for thermal ablation. This concludes the resectability assessment. You will be given an opportunity to review your answers to all questions before submitting them. After submitting your answers, no change will be possible. During your two-day reading session, you will be asked to review between 200 and 280 scans. Assuming six hours of reading on each day, the image assessment and ECRF completion should take no longer than three minutes on average for one scan. To make maximum use of your time in Berlin, we encourage you to discuss any open issues with us either by email or by phone before your arrival. Once again, we would like to thank you very much for being part of this project. We look forward to welcoming you in Berlin.